Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to our Let's Play. We are playing Out of the Park 18, a Major League Baseball simulator by Out of the Park Software Developers. And there we are. We are playing as Kansas City. Let me double check. Yes, recording has started. Excellent. All right, so I have not recorded this in two or three weeks, uh, I don't think. Uh, we had had a marathon recording session last time, and I was actually supposed to put an episode of this up uh, here in the last uh, day or two, but I didn't have one and didn't have time to record it, so I jumped ahead to a few other things that I already had recorded. Uh, I, But... We are here, and we are in the postseason again. So, taking a look at the final standings. Boston and Baltimore, Kansas City and Chicago, and Kansas... We actually had to go to an extra game, 157 games, to win that. And we get them anyway, uh, as luck would have it. We won the tiebreaker after losing on the, the season finale to Minnesota. And we had to toss uh, Dave Rigetti, who didn't pitch badly. Had a good season for us this year after his call-up. But now we are facing our arch rivals, the White Sox. So we are... Pretty well prepped. We went with Rigetti in that uh, bumper game, and the rationale for that was we were in the playoffs anyway, and I was wanting to set up for the first round. So we pitched Rigetti, took the gamble, paid off, although it was going to work out either way. I mean, we'd be in the same game. It's just we would be, you know, the wild card team instead of the division winner, but here we are. So. Uh, Leonard and Guidry will lead things off with us. A 23 game and a 21 game winner. Morris went 10 and 16 this year. Uh, I am going to, well, I'll manage that myself. Uh, Rigetti was respectable. 7 and 5 in 18 games after his call up. And then I've got Paul Splitorf that can come out of the bullpen, but. Uh, starting to have some concerns about the back half of our rotation. But anyway, let's get into this. Schedule. Do we want to go there? Do we want to go here? Wild cards, six, oh, playoffs, there we go, beep. All right, so looking at our series, and then on the other side we have uh, Los Angeles and Cincinnati, San Francisco and Pittsburgh. Cincinnati and the Giants have gotten out to one-game leads in the National League. And we have J.R. Richard taking on Dennis Leonard in the first game. So let's go ahead and just finish today. And we get the win, 4-3, to three. so let's check out that box score. A big three-run inning in the fourth, and that was the winning inning. We made it stand up. We only ma managed four hits, but let's take a look at it. Richard, eight innings, four hits, four runs, only two of them earned, but hey, the, the unearned runs count in the final score. Leonard, eight hits, two runs, and Suter, one inning, one hit, one run in relief as he picks up the save. Brett with a double. Wilson with two stolen bases. Yeah, not a lot of action on the offense there. That's okay. All right, so we take a 1-0 lead. Baltimore won their first game. All right, let's go ahead and play game two. And Vukovic defeats Gidry 11-3. That's not, that's not what we needed. A four-run third and then a six-run ninth. Holy smokes. 
yeah, Gidry didn't even last, uh, didn't even get a qual, uh, an official start. Four innings. Wow. Splitorf came in in long relief. Herbrowski just got ripped. And Bird didn't do well either, but oh, look at those ERAs. Ow. That's nasty. All right, let's see. Burleson with a homer. Downing Richie Hebner with homers for the White Sox. Oh, that is just atrocious. All right, let's see. We are actually at October 1st, so we will pop through some mail real quick. Uh, Martinez, that's a game. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, uh, Buddy Bell, batter of the month. Roland Office, boy, that's a that was a fringe player's name, huh? He was a National League Player of the Month. Frank Tanana, Pitcher of the Month in the American League. Rudy May over in the National League. Joe Charbonneau from the Red Sox. And Bob Horner of the Mets won Rookie of the Month Award honors. All right, let's see. Let's get back down to our no game today. All right, so San Francisco and the Reds got sweeps. So let's jump back and take a look at the playoff race. All right, so Cincinnati swept the Dodgers. Dodgers were 89 and 67 in third place. <laughs> so they were third in their division but made the made the playoffs as the second wild card team. The Reds, first overall, 101 and 55. So not a surprise, maybe, that there was a sweep there. They were 10 and 14 against the uh, Reds this year. But 2 0, 4 3, and then 8 1. So they really pounded it out. San Francisco, second best record. Pirates, the first best. I've got a good friend of mine, lives up in South Bend, Indiana. He's a lifelong Pirates fan. And, uh,. Yeah, I can commiserate with him. Uh, three and three against San Francisco this year, but just couldn't get it done. Uh, Baltimore has won the first two against the Red Sox, surprisingly. And, of course, we are tied. All right, so Dave Rigetti and Fergie Jenkins coming up next. Rigetti, seven and five. Jenkins, 23 and seven. Back-to-back 20-win -back seasons. I would say, the, and we're in Chicago, so I'm thinking we are not a uh, favorite here. But we win 6-2. to two. Man, I ought to save the game now just in case. Brigetti gets the win. Eight innings, seven hits, two runs. That's fabulous. Hrabowski gives up one hit, no runs, and she cuts his ERA from 33-19. to 19. What a hero. We get 14 hits and three runs off of Fergie Jenkins. Dan Dreesen, player of the game. And George Brett set a playoff record for the American Leagues with three doubles in the game. That's fabulous. All right, so three doubles. Dreesen hit his first homer. Pinella hit a homer. Not a lot of runs scored with all those hits. That's kind of surprising. All right, what's going on in the news? All right, so the Orioles ended up sweeping the Red Sox. That's a surprise. And Don Baylor, now we talked about him earlier this season. He passed away from cancer. Uh, rest in peace. But in our game, he is 29 years old and still in the prime of his career. Uh, he hit 245. Not great, but uh, very limited at bats. What's... Uh, yeah, I mean, he's a good player. I don't know why he's not starting. I mean, he only started one, two games last year and one game this year. Seriously? After leading the league in home runs? Somebody needs to be fired. You know, with 29 homer, thir you know, 30, 30 homers and 100 RBI, I could probably live with a 266 ERA. And he can play three positions. Somebody sign that guy. 
Of course, not the real picture of Don Baylor. Too bad. Sorry about that. All right, so all the series are done with the exception of ours. We're trying to make more money, and we have to get back home to Kansas City to do that, which means we'll probably lose today. No, <laughs> I hope not. Uh, dang, uh, do we want Jack Morris? Man, I really would like Leonard at the top of the rotation. But I only have one chance. I need to win one of these two games to make it. So maybe. All right, he's on three days rest. All right, if I start him today. All the other series are over. So likely we only get one day rest. I'm thinking. Might be more, but let's go with one to be conservative. All right, so he would pitch today. We would be off tomorrow, giving him one day rest. And then we're in best a best of seven series, so you have to win four games. So Gidry would be available day game one. We'd have to go with Rigetti in game two, as Leonard would only be on two days rest. We'd get another day rest. Then that would put Leonard in for game three on four days rest. And then we would have to go more... Uh, We would probably have to go Morris at that point to get back up to Gidry. Uh, hmm. <laughs> How has Jack done lately? Nine innings, eight hits, three runs. I mean, none of, you know, these are not horrible games. I mean, four four runs is is not good. Nine runs certainly, but that's that's been over a month. You know what? He's 23, first round draft pick. I think we got us. I think we got to start him. I would. Uh, oh man. I think the smart thing to do is to start to start Leonard. Because, look, they're still showing J.R. Richard the next game. But, I well, of course, Wilbur, well, Wilbur's 14 and 14. That's a heck of a lot better than 10 and 16 for Jack. Almost a whole run better on ERA. So I could see them going with, with Wilbur, but I wouldn't be surprised if J.R. Richard started this game either. Oh, uh, the heck with it. Let's go ahead and play it. Just get it done. Uh, Kansas City wins. <sighs> yes. Oh, my God. We made the right call. The right guess. Jack Morris. What a hero. A complete game. One run. What a stud. <laughs> they did go with Wood. They did not bring up uh, J.R. Richard. I really thought they would. Brett with another double. Two RBIs for Wilson, two for Dempsey. Nice. Put up a couple of crooked numbers there in two different innings. All right, the Royals move on to the championship series. And we get the Orioles. So the Orioles were a wild card team. 85 wins, and they swept the 105-win number one seed Red Sox. Yeah, so that means absolutely jack squat, right? <laughs> All right, let's go to the playoffs. League Championship Series. All right, they went 4-2 and two against us this year, so they actually have a winning record against us, even though we have seven more wins. Six if you take out the um, extra game uh, for the pennant. 
Well, you know what? Let's put a cut in here. Let's 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 break up our postseason. Uh, we're about a little over halfway through the re usual recording time, but in the postseason, I kind of like to break that up. So you know what? Let's put a break in here, and we'll come back for the league championship series in the next video. How do you like that? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye.